Hey everybody, Kai here back for another daily shave for West Coast Shaving. So just get right into it right here. Going with my turn and shave custom. This has a Declaration Grooming 28 millimeter B6 knot in it. Razor today, going with my, my mini. This is a Max Sprecher. Uh, I think it either has a two inch or a two and a quarter inch cutting edge. It's got a square point. Uh, it's a near wedge and these are Beechwood Micarta scales. And the uh, soap for today and um, gonna show what's actually the subject of review. So soap for today is the 88 Chestnut Street uh, soap from Declaration Grooming in collaboration with Chatelon Lux and the 88 Chestnut Street Aftershave Splash uh, Which is what I'll be reviewing today. So uh, during the shave. I'll just talk about the scent on um, 88 Chestnut a little bit So this scent is really nice um, so it's you know, we're coming up on springtime and this is a very nice, just like spring and summery scent. So to my nose, I just get a lot of citrus. Um, it's very bright, very nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush here for loading. And this is in the Icarus base. So it's a relatively hard soap. So I really just wanna get in there. But yeah, just a very, very nice, bright citrus. Uh, that's really what I get. Take the hair out right there. And I'm gonna wet my face. I also kind of get a neroli floral to it. So <clears throat> it does kind of have an Italian Colonia uh, kind of aspect to it, I guess. So it's, it's in like a similar vein to something like Aqua de Parma, um, but it's, it's definitely a little brighter. Aqua de Parma has a little bit of um, some lavender, some more woodsiness to it. Um, this one is just very bright and citrusy. So, really nice. Really enjoy this scent a lot. Um, for me, this is really like a year round scent because uh, out here in Hawaii, we just pretty much have like spring and summer weather all the time. But, um, you know, if you're someone who likes to go seasonally, then this is going to be a good one for you. So let me just put this down. I don't think I'm gonna really have to add water to this as it's not held on to a lot of it. So. Might be pretty much good to go almost. Maybe just a little bit of water.
Oh, but uh, if you are unfamiliar with the scent, um, I believe 4711 is uh, also based off of this. And uh, this is actually the second release of this soap under a different name. So the original release was Fourth and Pine. And so there was just uh, a name change. But if you smelled Fourth and Pine or you're familiar with it, then these are the same scents. So this looks pretty good to me. Just gonna try off right here. get going so I do have to be a little bit more careful with this razor for two reasons uh, one that square point on there uh, pretty wicked and two because the uh, The blade is a different length from what I'm used to. The point ends up in a different spot. So, I actually have to slightly change up my technique in order to compensate for that. But I do like it. Um, the shorter length leads to a little more maneuverability and uh, kind of keeps me on my toes, you know? Keeps me from getting a little too lax with my, my technique. Very nice though. Icarus base is fantastic. Great slickness. Great density. Get a little bit of coffee here. Got a nice amount of lather for maybe about a couple more people. <laughs>
second pass. So if you're someone who's uh kind of new to straight razors. A razor that's actually uh, sort of similar to this, so like a shorter style, would be um, very good for you because shorter length does add to um, a nice amount of maneuverability. Now, I wouldn't suggest getting a unmuted spike point like this. Um, I just chose it. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I'm a little crazy for not wanting it muted, but The shorter length really does add to the maneuverability of the razor. Like it feels very light, very maneuverable. And even though it's an 8 8 wedge, it doesn't feel clunky at all. Not that my other um, 8 8 razors feel clunky, but definitely feels like something that um, kind of gets around a little bit easier, so. Going for a custom for your first razor um, can be a little steep, I understand that, but maybe once you've tried it out, you know, with maybe a nice little entry level razor, so like a gold dollar or a vintage, and you feel like you really enjoy straight razor shaving and you're kind of ready to commit to a razor, a shorter length razor might be a good way to go. So a maybe two and a quarter to two and a half inch cutting edge. So you can see this stuff is still nice and thick. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. just so that I can keep improving upon the slickness. Because for me, if I had to choose between hydration and density, I'm pretty much always gonna go towards hydration. just because with straight razors, you don't have that, um, like a safety bar or anything helping the razor glide across the skin. So the lather needs to be, you know, your best level of, um, your best level of slickness to kind of help that razor glide. So gonna go 10 laps on leather right here. If you haven't tried that out, I always recommend it. Um, I think it kind of helps smoothen out the edge for the, the last pass.
Very nice. Yeah, that's super comfortable. A very nice shave overall. Like I said, the Icarus base is a great performer. And you can see it has great residual slickness as well. Was able to go back over, no visible lather, so very nice. All right, so that's shave. Now, on to the aftershave. So with the uh, Chatelon Lux aftershaves, you always wanna have either a little bit of water on your face or on your hands. So. I'm just going to um, dry off my my face real quick. Uh, I'm gonna open the aftershave just so that it's not slippery from any water. Get my hands a little, a little wet. And put some aftershave into my hands. There we go. And put it on. Chatelon Lux aftershaves are some of my favorite. Um, they have a nice little bit of menthol to it. The skin ingredients in here are very nice. Um, it is an alcohol based splash, but there's really no burn from it at all. My face always feels really good. And uh, so I also do have the matching EDT here, or I believe it's a EDC, excuse me. But if you don't, this stuff is nice and potent. Um, I put it definitely on the higher end as far as aftershaves go. And it has a nice bit of lasting power as well. So, very nice. Just very good overall. Um, like I said, the aftershaves are absolutely incredible. One of my favorites, so. If you uh, did manage to pick up the the soap or you know you just uh just want a nice citrusy aftershave for for uh soaps that you like to match with citrus or maybe something you don't have a matching splash for uh, this is excellent i really just like it like i said just a nice bright citrus um a little bit of that floral neroli comes through so it is kind of Italian Colonia, but um, like not quite the same as uh, Aqua de Parma, but it is along that same same strain. So I'll be putting on the EDC as well. And yeah, my face feels really good. Um, the aftershave probably has a nice amount of uh, the oils in here. So calendula, 
Uh, it's got chamomile extract, witch hazel, aloe vera. Um, so a lot of just nice extracts, some glycerin. So yeah, it just leaves your face feeling very nice, uh, nice and soft, but not overly um, oily or anything and not dry either, even though it is alcohol. So yeah, excellent shave. I uh, hope you guys have a good one and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.